Well, other on working with its uh, BRICS nations, China is also taking major steps to link its economy with Cuba's economy. And that may help Cuba further develop an already impressive biotechnology sector. CCTV's Michael Voss has the details. Cuba and China began cooperating in the biotechnology sector more than a decade ago. China provides raw materials and equipment. There are also three joint venture companies in China producing Cuban-developed medicines and bio-agricultural products. Now, one of these companies, Beijing-based Biotech Pharmaceutical, has signed a letter of intent to invest in an export-based production facility in Cuba manufacturing anti-cancer drugs. Next come the feasibility studies and market research, company president Bai Xinghung told me. Every two years, a joint working group meets to review progress on existing agreements and look for new opportunities. This year's meeting in Havana, led by the vice president of China's National Development and Reform Commission, saw the signing of eight new accords. Much of Cuba's focus so far has been on gaining a foothold in China. Now it's looking for Chinese investment to expand here in Cuba. Cuba hopes to attract companies to a new special development zone around the port of Mariel, making it an export hub for the region. Latin America is our natural market. We have a strong, very strong distribution channels in Latin America. We have a relation in the biotechnology sector with Brazil, Venezuela, Argentina, Mexico. The relationship between Cuba and China is actually a very good relationship. We are like brothers. So we like to through this relationship to penetrate into the Latin American market. Last year saw the opening of a joint venture company in Cuba manufacturing diabetic blood glucose monitors for the domestic market. Now China is also looking to invest in a much larger export-based plant at Mariel. The Cuban biotech sector currently exports around $500 million worth of products a year. With Chinese help, it's looking to more than double that within five years. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.